Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is the judgment will start at the house of the Lord. The, the age of churchianity as we know it is over. The institutional churches will disappear. Why is that necessary? Because it's the judgment, it's the house of the Lord. And at this point is where it starts. This is the beginning. The judgment must start at the house of the Lord. The house of the Lord is a church that has fallen away. It is a church that has become the center point of bishops and pastors and rulers and principalities. And it has to be restored. It is a part of restoration of all things. I made a video about that. You can find it on our YouTube channel. It's a part of the restoration of all things. The church must be reset, restored to its former glory, to the church, the assemblies that we find in the book of Acts. And why? Because persecution is coming. Because the Antichrist is coming. And when persecution comes, we need a holy church. We need a righteous church. We need a church that is able to withstand that persecution. But how easy will it be if you have a church that is an institution with a building to pick them out and to destroy them? You can see it in China. If they poke up their, their heads out of the, the sand, they will be taken out right away. But home churches can stay in secret places, in the secret places of the Most High. They can gather the people together, no matter what a persecutor will do against them. So we have to restore the church to its former glory. We should come to the point when, where we are not asking for miracles and praying for miracles and wonders to come. But we must come to a time when miracles and wonders will follow us every day because we are walking close with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we will go wherever he goes because we are the bride of Christ. And we are the true sons and daughters of the Most High. And we are the royal priesthood and eagles soaring on high places and the fortresses of light. So let our light shine by becoming this restored church. We are the church. We are the temple. And we are supernatural. Nobody should tell you something else. You do not have to be guided by a pastor or by a bishop or even by a person who has a worldly degree. Worldly honors means nothing in heaven. Important is that you walk in spirit and truth. As a bride of Christ, as a true son and daughter of the Most High. This is much more important to get an understanding than to have a worldly degree about theology or religion or something. The new church, the restored church, the church that was resetted now, will practice true religion. And true religion is clearly defined by James as going out and helping the widows, the orphans, the needy, the nameless and faceless. And by doing so and setting an example, you will win souls and you bring as many people as possible to righteousness. This is true religion and everything else is fake. And we are going and proclaim boldly in our neighborhoods the gospel of the kingdom and no other gospel. The gospel that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ proclaimed. Why? Because the kingdom is here. It's not coming. It is here. We have started the sealed tribulation. That means we are in the book of Revelation. And it has started. And when it has started, then the kingdom is here. 
people understand that there is no more time left. The kingdom is here, and I proclaim it boldly today that the kingdom is here, and the Spirit of Jesus Christ is with us right now. And we will walk that righteous and narrow path to his, towards his holy mountain, where we will meet him physically, in the rapture, into paradise, at the sixth seal. Because he will come down with Mount Zion at the sixth seal, and everybody will see. Because the whole world will hide in the caves and in the mountains, to hide from him that is sitting on the throne, and from the lamp. So they will see him coming in his glory. And they are afraid. But this is our time of glory, our time of redemption, our time of eternal life. Because we will go in the rapture, people. Brothers and sisters, we will go into the rapture, into paradise. We will be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ forever and ever. Now it's the time to start learning by doing, seeing example, copying it coming together in a huge network in the commonwealth of God, where we can share our experiences, where we can tell the others, this has worked for us and this has not worked for us. Let us come together and share our experience. Let us come together and share our resources. Let us exchange our members between the home churches, even across borders. Let us build a huge family in a restored church, in the first part of the restoration of all things. Because everything what is written must come to pass and will come to pass. Not one title will be lost from what is written in the Bible. And we are at this time now when everything begins. What a great time! The Apostle would have wished to be here at this time. And now we are here. And this is the time when we will build this year 2020, we will build 100 dwelling places of Zion in the earth, in different nations, on different continents. By the end of the year 2020, we will have at least 100 dwelling places of Zion established. And the Lord will help us. The petition has gone to the court of heaven, and the resources will be provided. And we will establish 100 dwelling places of Zion, home churches, by the end of 2020. Now it's the time to step forward. Now it's your time to build one home church in your house, to build a dwelling place of Zion, and to be an eagle soaring high, to make your nest in the heavens, in the lofty place, in the high places, and not in the world anymore. We have a training course for separating yourself from the world. Because we cannot run away from the world and be now in heaven. But we can also not be fully in heaven when you're still in the world. So you have to learn and understand how to walk that middle, narrow and righteous path. For that purpose we have a training course that will start next month. And we have another one how to establish a home church in your house. The links you will find in the first pinned comment. So please have a look and sign up for the courses. It will help you to establish a restored church. Be the church where two or three people are together in my name, the Lord said, I will be with them always. So let us come together and restore the church to its former glory away from the institutional churches, because judgment will start at the house of the Lord. This is a year of judgment at the church. You will see many old churches, many institutional churches, many old pastors and bishops falling this year. They will fall away. Their churches will be destroyed. It will go out. They will stop doing false claims, they will stop being preachers anymore. And a new church will emerge, a church with power, with glory, walking in spirit and truth, where wonders and miracles will follow them every day, as it was in the book of Acts. 
So be part of it. Let's bring these home churches into one huge network, in one huge family of the Lord, in the commonwealth of God, so that we can connect together and that we can spread the gospel of the kingdom to all the nations. And then the end will come. Now we are not at the end yet. We are at the beginning. But the kingdom is here. Seals, tribulation have started. Now it's the time to go out to, to conquer and, and conquer the people who are in false belief and to bring them onto the right side, to overcome the world. That is a better word than conquer. To overcome and to be an overcomer and to be successful in overcoming the world and separate yourself from the world on the middle path, on the path to righteousness and to clean your garments in the blood of the Lamb and to be part of the multitude clothed in white and to enter paradise at the rapture at the sixth seal. Judgment is starting now at the house of the Lord. Restore with us the church to its former glory. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. And please, if you are guided by the Holy Spirit, sow into the words. Help us to establish home churches all over the world. 100 home churches within 2020. 100 places, dwelling places of Zion. 100 places of light. 100 fortresses of light. 100 places where the eagles are soaring. So help us. Let us have resources. Let us pull our resources together. Help us by sowing into the words so that we can build them up, that we can have better equipment so that we can make live presentation on YouTube, that we can come forth in boldly words, that we can speak and train and Gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Now is our time to step forward. Now it's the time of action. Judgment is starting at the house of the Lord. And you are selected a chosen people, a royal priesthood for the Lord and co heirs with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of the kingdom. Now let us do kingdom work. Thank you. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day. I will see you again tomorrow. Maranat.